In past videos, we gave your Samsung keyboard a full glow up using Goodlock and explored theme customization like pros. But today, we're cracking open the next layer where aesthetic meets precision and your keyboard becomes a statement. If you're ready to transform your Galaxy device with a unique vibe, check out our freshly curated Goodlock playlist, Samsung Goodlock Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials, a guide that serves as your shortcut to becoming a theme customization pro. In today's video, we're diving deeper into keyboard customization using Theme Park within Samsung's Goodlock. We'll show you how to add a background image to your keyboard, a feature that's easy to implement, but surprisingly easy to overlook. Along with this, we'll also tweak the colors. First, we'll start by opening the Goodlock application. Now, this is a free app from Samsung that you can download from the Google Play Store. Next, we'll look for the Theme Park module. Now, this is a bit misleading because, again, we're going to be adding a background image to our keyboard and also customizing the colors of that keyboard. And you would think that this would be done in the Keys Cafe module. Now, while plenty of modifications to the Samsung keyboard can be made in Keys Cafe, changing the background image is best done in Theme Park based on my experience. Once in Theme Park, you'll see a toolbar towards the bottom of the page, and we're going to look for the option keyboard and tap on it. This will refresh the page and display a list of your existing keyboard themes, like the Arasaka One theme I created here. But for this tutorial, we'll be starting from scratch, so you can tap the green pill labeled Create New. Now, this page refreshes to what I like to call a schematic of the keyboard. You'll see dotted circles pointing to specific areas that can be customized. Let's start with the keyboard image, which is represented by an image icon within a pink bubble. We'll tap on it. A pop-up appears with two options, theme park or gallery. Since I want to use an image from my gallery, that's the option I'll choose. So this page refreshes to show a list of image folders. For this tutorial, I'm leaning into the purple vibe we created in our theme customization video, so I'll tap on the download folder. So you'll see here I have a purple shard design. I'm really vibing with that, so I'm going to tap on that option. Now depending on your background image and keyboard theme, you may want to tweak the colors for better accessibility. So let's revisit those dotted circles and walk through a few adjustments. Now you'll see with our purple shard design, the UI picked more of a blue color by default. So I'm going to tap on the main color option and we're going to change it to purple. We can make it a lighter purple or more of a darker purple. And we also have saturation. So if we move to the left, it's going to be more grayed out. And if we move to the right, it's going to be more vibrant. And I'm going to tweak this so that we get a really nice purple and then we'll tap OK. So this is going to be a quick way to change colors, but say we want to do deeper customization. Again, we're going to be focusing on those dotted circles. And each dotted circle points to an area of the keyboard. You can see that we have quite a few. That gives us a lot of customization here, but we're just going to tweak a few things so that you can get an idea of what you can do. So I'm going to start by focusing on the color of the keyboard keys, and that's going to be this option right here, and we're going to tap on it. Now, if you're looking to make changes to the color, but you're not getting many options, as you'll see here for myself, I'm getting mostly gray. Remember that we do have a saturation slider. So we're going to want to adjust that so we'll actually get more color options. And then we also have a transparency slider, which can also affect your options. So if we want to get more color options, we want to turn those all the way up and then we can select a color here and then we can tap OK. Now, this is looking really nice for accessibility. Those keyboard keys, they contrast really nice against that background, making them easier to see. Next, we have these keyboard keys on the side of the keyboard and we could tweak the color of those. Now, there is a small disclaimer here. Some of these circles are so close to one another that you might confuse them with what they actually do. So for example, let's say that this is the one that we want to select and we think it's going to change the color of those keys. We'll tap on that and then we'll pick a color. Now again, if you're not seeing much 
choice here for the color, adjust that saturation slider. And we're going to choose something that kind of goes against the purple theme here. I'm going to go with red and select it. And you'll see that it didn't change the keyboard key color, it changed the text on the keyboard key. So let's try this other circle here and we'll select red and then tap OK. And now that changed the color of those keys. But now we can't see the text or the symbols on some of the keys here. So we need to go back to this circle. I'm going to turn down the saturation and I'm going to stick with more of a white and then tap OK. And now we can see things here. Next, you'll see that we have this circle here and I think it relates to this top bar. So I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to pick a color that maybe is a little bit different, but I want to turn up the saturation again so we get all the choices here. And I want to choose a darker purple and then tap OK. And there we go, that's looking pretty good. And nothing is finalized here. So let's say that you weren't happy with the red here. We could tap on that and then we could choose a purple and then that'll kind of make things more consistent. Now there are a few more circles. Again, we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. We've got four more options here, but we'll just do one more. So let's do the color of the icons. That's going to be this circle here. We'll tap on that. Then I'm going to adjust the saturation and then I'll pick a color. So we'll just go with that and then tap OK. That's really hard to see. So again, if we don't like that color option, we can tap the X on the circle there. Again, I'll demonstrate that one more time. Let's say that we pick a color here that's not going to work really well. We can't really see it here. We can look at the option we just chose. There is an X on it. We can tap it. It clears out that color and now you can see those icons again. They're now white. So I'm going to stick with this and leave it as so because it looks really good. And just like that, your Samsung keyboard isn't just functional, it's a canvas. You've now unlocked a layer of customization most users scroll right past. Like, subscribe, and tap that bell because every tweak is a ritual and every module brings you one step closer to creating the ultimate loadout. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.